Welcome to the world of Pokemon, I mean pals, where you catch little creatures and force them to fight and enslave them to do your dirty work. Here is a beginner's guide for those who know nothing about this world. Create your character. You cannot edit him later, so make sure you don't make him look stupid. There we go. As soon as you spawn, turn around. There's a chest with some money and bread, as well as a journal. It probably contains plot stuff. I don't know. I don't know how to read. These are fast travel points. They allow you to travel across the map rapidly as well as respawn when you get absolutely shit on by the little guys. Punch wood to get wood. Rocks to get rocks. Blue rocks to get blue rocks. You need all three to make Pokeb- I mean PAL orbs. Remember, press B to build, tab for to menu, and Q to throw your goddamn Pokeballs, pal orbs, when gathering. Fists are worse, clubs are better, dedicated tools are best. If you want to dismantle your crafting table, press B for build, and then C for crush. To crush that building back into resources, I don't know. Now that you've got a club and some pal orbs, it's time to get some pals. Don't ki- I mean knock out the things you want to catch. They will be too de sleepy to do you any good. In the starting area, you'll see chickens, sheep, and cats. Catch a variety of different pals. They have different abilities detailed over here on the menu on the side. Cats are good for building and gathering. Sheep are the same, and they can also give you wool. Chickens lay eggs. They can also farm, but they're not very good at it. Now that you've got some pals, it's time to go on a killing spree. Good job. Their corpses litter the earth. Oh, you've leveled up. This rewards you with stat points and tech points. Stat points can be used to boost your health, stamina, damage, carry weight, and craft speed. You've also got the technology points. These can be used to unlock technologies. Shocking. Most importantly though, build a PC and focus on upgrading it. This, this, this isn't a joke. Actually build a PC. It's going to be massively useful. You definitely want to focus on upgrading it. As you upgrade your PC, with the little tasks it provides you, you can assign more PALs to your base. They will help you with various tasks, such as gathering, building, and farming. Not featured here because it's slightly further into the game than this guide is going. Use a campfire to cook the food that you and your PALs gather. It improves the nutritional value and keeps you and your PALs well fed. A side note, when building a fireplace, make sure it's not in the path that your PALs will walk. They will walk through it and set themselves on fire. Make sure you don't open up the menu and go into the survival guide. It tells you everything that I am telling you and more. Please don't put me out of a job. Subscribe if you want more PAL world guides and gameplay. This game is more fun than it has any right to be. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I mean PALs. Welcome. Well, welcome to- Welcome. Welcome? Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I mean pals, where you catch little creatures and force them to fight and, uh, it Press B for build, and then C for... Cannot build. Now that you've got a club and some pal orbs, it's time to fuck up a pal. Okay, that's one good take.